I'm Brit and I'm here at the Peter Sachs Migration Exhibition and as a fashion stylist I'm so intrigued and I've got so many questions for him about how he mixes fabric and textiles with his art. The title of this show is Migrations and I'm a South African born and raised and somebody who has experienced migrating and migrated to several countries. And in a way, these are quite intimately autobiographical works, but they're also quite global in the sense that I've collected materials, literally fabrics rather than just paint, from all over the world. And that would be from Africa, from India. I grew up in the city of Durban, which was a very Indian city. Um, but not just Indian cloth. I spent years in France accumulating old European handmade laces and um, garments and things that were very intimate to particular persons and I've kept their handiwork involved in these surfaces which are made up of many layers so that these are archaeological works some of them are nine layers deep they're not just put on with the brush and paint they're actually fabricated and one of the elements of that is I've collected cloth which I also put through an old manual typewriter and have typed out language that has mattered a great deal to me uh, over the years. And so the words have migrated into these paintings just as these materials have migrated into these paintings and they are new gathering places where they can live in a kind of coexistence that they couldn't live in before. I would say that instead of my choosing the materials, they choose me. What happens is that something in my, not just conscious but unconscious, including my memory, including my uh, combination of emotions, fear, desire, anxiety, all kinds of things that are associated with um, fabrics. Uh, they speak to me and I feel often they are pieces of debris, often they're about to be thrown away, so that I am recuperating them, I am retrieving them, uh, and f instead of them disintegrating, I'm reintegrating them. And pockets, of course, are containers for things that one carries, and as a migrant, one has precious things. Pockets are often over one's heart. And I've carried these things in my mind, uh, close to me, and sometimes they're hidden, sometimes they're secret. And so I wanted to include the container, uh, the pocket, as well as the sense of the contents that might not be visible but are hidden, you know they're there. And buttons, uh, it's as if this whole painting is a kind of garment, uh, a vestment that you can imagine unbuttoning, and then what's below it? What's the body below the dress? Of course, seashells are these extraordinary little echo chambers, which the ocean has miraculously crafted into very often corrugated forms, and so that the shape of the shells mirrors graphically uh, what else is occurring in the painting. I've had such a lovely evening here and I love his reasons for using pockets and seashells and buttons and all these lovely details in his works. It's very emotional and an absolute must-see.